Hello from the Eternal City. Today we are going to be discussing the biggest mistakes that first timers make when visiting Rome, Italy. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Haley. I am a travel blogger and hotel veteran of over 15 years. So if you like travel content from all over the world, cruise ships, Disney, you name it, please give a like to this video and don't forget to subscribe. Rome is a beautiful city and there are so many things to do. But there are a lot of things that people seem to forget, especially when it's their first trip to Europe or the country in general. The first things that people tend to make a mistake on are picking the wrong time to come to Italy based on your needs. If you are somebody that doesn't do well in hot weather, coming during the summer is not going to be it for you. If you're somebody that also maybe needs more assistance getting around the streets and restaurants and museums are very crowded during the summer. So coming on a shoulder season or the off season might be a better fit for you. Number two is not packing appropriately. One part of this is packing the wrong shoes. You are going to do a lot of walking in Rome. We're talking 10, 15, 20,000 plus steps a day. You need to wear good shoes because the cobblestones are also uneven in some spaces. The other piece of this is also packing too much, bringing large suitcases, depending if you're at an Airbnb especially, lugging those big bulky suitcases through the cobblestones, and then in buildings that don't have elevators, there are a lot of buildings here in Rome that do not have elevators, up four or five flights of stairs is a lot of work. So make sure you try to condense as much as you can. I have some great packing videos on my channel if you'd like to check those out. My first trip to Italy, I spent two weeks and I was able to do it in a backpack and a carry-on. Another few tips for packing appropriately includes packing a universal charger that works in EU plugs and bringing a battery pack. So the EU uses different outlets than the United States and other parts of the world. I have a great one linked down below that I like to use that works for UK outlets, EU outlets. It has USB plugs in it. It's a really great one. And then I have a battery pack with me all the time. I'll link that down below as well. You are going to be taking so many photos and videos of this amazing city. You do not want a dead camera battery. Number three, not buying your museum tickets or attraction tickets ahead of time. Especially during peak season, there are many people that miss out on great attractions because they did not plan ahead. One of my favorite partners is Grayline Rome. I'm going to link them down below. They have great skip the line tickets. If you've ever seen the crazy lines outside of the Vatican, you will see why there are skip the line tickets. Do not stand in more lines than you absolutely need to. And also a quick tip when you are planning out your attractions and you are coming during the summer, consider doing your Coliseum tour first thing in the morning before it gets too hot midday. There is a lot of sun right there and you are going to sweat if you are there around noon in the afternoon. Number four is not giving Rome enough time. So a lot of people will come in, spend a night or two, and then hop off to other areas. You could easily spend a week in Rome. And plus it's so central. It's a great home base to get to other areas. So if the hotels are looking crazy and Florence and Venice or wherever else, you could always make Rome your home base and hop to it. Are you ready to save money on your next trip so you can travel more? Check out my free ultimate travel savings guide down here in the bio. Tips and tricks for flights, hotels, cruises, you name it. You are going to be able to save money with this guide. And hey, it's free. Tip number five, do not pay in US dollars or exchange currency at the airport or exchange your currency at an ATM in US dollars. The best way to go is to pull your cash from an ATM in euros, let your bank convert it versus out in USD. You can also order some from your bank before you go. I like to order 100 or so euros just so I have some cash on hand just in case. But the best exchange is going to be at an ATM pulling it out in euros. And make sure you also check your credit cards to see if they have foreign transaction fees. Most do not, but I will link some of my travel credit card favorites down below. Number six, I see a lot of people make the mistake of not getting their bearings and grounds of the city. One of the things I like to do is do the hop on hop off bus. I know it sounds a little corny and touristy, 
but this was a great way for me to understand the layout of the city and then actually walking it. If you're trying to cram a lot of stuff into a few days without knowing what's where, that can get a little confusing. Number seven, not understanding tipping culture. So if you're from the United States like myself, we have a very high tipping culture here. We could debate that later in the comments, but it is what it is. Tipping is not as big of a thing in restaurants in um, Italy. So for example, if you have a great meal, it's, it's normal to just do a couple euros. It's enough of a thank you. But if you tip too much, I've had people tell me that I've tipped too much there. Um, they'll kind of be very surprised. And I've heard some people say that some people get offended by it, but I've never seen that. But tipping is different. A few euros on your meal will definitely suit it. However, make sure if you are doing a tour that you do tip your travel guides, because if they're amazing, like my friend Davide, and this is not a plug for him, they do so much work and so much time, you know, they're not getting that whole portion of what your ticket fee is that goes back to the museum, the agency. So don't forget to tip your tour guide if they are exceptional. Number eight, do not get food by a tourist attraction. So when I say this, if you can sit and see the Colosseum in all of its glory, for example, chances are that is not the most authentic restaurant. Um, rule of thumb is those restaurants are usually more expensive. They're not as high in quality and ingredients, and they cater to tourists because it's just right next to the Colosseum. And who doesn't want to sit and eat spaghetti in front of the Colosseum? So wander down some of these beautiful streets, find a nice local place. Don't forget to check out my favorite best restaurants in Rome guide. I did a video on this already. There are some treats on there. Number nine, another mistake that first time travelers make is not realizing how many great day trips are from Rome. Tivoli is a great one. Antico Ostia is another great one. You could even day trip to Pompeii. There are some really great day trip options to kind of shake up your trip when you're in Rome. My final tip is to beware of scams. So like any big tourist area, there are pickpockets. So I highly recommend my anti-theft backpack because I have made this mistake and had my phone stolen in Paris. This backpack saves my life. I'm linking it down below as well. I can't say enough nice things about it. I like that it zips from the side. It also has a strap to be a purse versus a backpack. And honestly, it's kind of cute looking. Another scam to be aware of are the paintings. Sometimes people will put paintings and drawings out on the ground in Italy. And then if you accidentally step on them, like they will place them right near where people are walking and you might not see it. They'll try to make you pay for it. There will be the signing petitions do not do any of that because while you're signing that petition, somebody could be pickpocketing you, taking your information. So just be on alert. There are lots of traveling individuals that try to slip bracelets on you saying they're free and then wanting you to pay for it. So just be very vigilant. This happens in any major tourist city. Need help planning your next trip to Italy? You can email us right over here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. Don't forget to check out the details here in the notes section as well. And I will see you next time. Ciao.